Mic check, one, two, one, two. We back with another episode of Shinobi Wisdom. Let's get suited up. What's up, everybody? We are back for another episode of Shinobi Wisdom. I'm your host, King Shinobi. (sighs) Today, I'm very excited to talk to you guys. I've been having more and more revelations in my life, and... uh, It's really doing me great benefit to open my eyes up and see things clearly. Let me adjust this a little bit. There we go, there we go. And just start to see things a lot clearer than I used to. You know what I'm saying? Um, Man. When you you start to stumble upon revelations, man, you just get this feeling I don't know if you could call it euphoria. I don't know. It's this feeling of like this weight being lifted off of you. You know, this weight that you've carried, a weight that you've chosen to carry that now you realize, oh, I never had to carry that weight all along. I could always let that weight go and uh, it wouldn't be an anchor to me. You know what I'm saying? It wouldn't be bringing me down or holding me in place. You know what I'm saying? So today I wanted to talk about letting go the spirit of bitterness. Bitter, like that bitter taste in your mouth. Letting go that spirit of bitterness. That's something that is a must, in my opinion, a must, because you know I'm reaping the benefits and I'm seeing a lot clearer, you know, I'm able to navigate things a lot, uh, you know, with more direction, you know, with more, you know, it's almost like a direct direction, even though it's going to go in different directions. I know all these pathways I have to travel down, you know, what I need to do, the more and more I let go of things that were weighing me down, you know, like bitterness. I think we all can relate to that. I think we all at some point in our life have had some bitterness for, you know, it could be a life situation. It could be a person, you know, it could just be an experience that you experienced in life, you know, but we have to really understand that these experiences, they were supposed to happen, man. They were, you know, that cliche, it is what it is shit, but It really is, man. It's really how, like, it's really how God wills it. It's really how, like, you gather that information that you're being given, and you're kind of trying to decipher it and uh, figure out the best way to keep moving through this this path or this mission, you know what I'm saying, whatever you want, you know? Um, You know, I was just talking to a homie the other day at the gym. I was telling him, I think I'm... I think I'm figuring things out, you know, somewhat. I'm somewhat figuring some things out, man. And, uh, yeah, it's almost like you're, you're floating, like you're levitating, you know. You learn to let things go and not hold on to things, you know, and allow that energy to flow and be free, you know. And also be willing to walk away from that energy, too. You know, just straight up walk away from the energy of bitterness Any person that is in your life that gives you bitterness, I urge you to keep them at a distance or completely walk away because, you know, that's like, that's like a friendship with the enemy. You know, if you know this person has these feelings for you, they may not be outwardly expressing them or maybe they do. Um, You got to decide where you want to be. And where you're gonna put that person, you know? Now that you've been, re- now that you have been revealed, you know, what it is, what the truth of the matter is, you know, you gotta have that strength to be able to walk away from the energy of bitterness that others give off to you. You gotta be able to walk away from that as well. You gotta be able to repel it. You just have to put your armor up, man. You know what I'm saying? Put your armor up, repel that shit, man. So when they throw it at you, just keep bouncing off. Boom, 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 boom. It's going to keep bouncing off, you know? So anybody throwing bitterness at you, put your shield up. 
Let it bounce off of you. Because all, they, all they're doing is, is poisoning themselves. When they carry that, that spirit of bitterness, they, they're poisoning themselves. And, you know, we got to allow people to poison themselves if they so choose. Because it's not our obligation to save them, you know, or save anyone, you know. But, um, yeah, letting go of the spirit of bitterness, man. I think that's big, real big, you know? So if you got anything bitter in your heart, you know, towards anybody, towards life, towards something ridiculous, let that shit go, man. Let it go. Let it go. And I mean, like, all the way. All the way out. Let it go. Don't let others infect you with their bitterness, you know? Because it still can affect you, you know? It still can affect you if you allow it to. That's why I'm putting my shields up. Anybody got anything aimed or directed at me, my shields is up. So, And I'm right here too. So, I'm not going to entertain the spirit of bitterness um, within myself, amongst anyone else you know, that I deal with in my life, my personal life. I'm not going to hold any bitterness towards you. If you hold it towards me, that's on you. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm focused, baby. I know what I'm supposed to be doing. I'm getting there. I'm figuring it out, you know. I'm able to admit all these faults that I've had, you know, express all this to y'all. I don't care because I know y'all dealing with it too. Even if you try to hide it, you're dealing with shit too. So I know what's up. I see through all that shit, man. So, yeah, man, spirit of bitterness, let it go. Let that shit go. For real, man. Let that shit go. It ain't worth it. Focus on what's important, man. Focus on what's important. You know, building your family up, building community up, you know, doing some real righteous shit, you know. Even if we didn't used to be righteous, man, we right here right now. We right here right now. We can be that. Even if you ain't been that, all right? So it's a choice. It's all a choice, you know? A lot of people aren't going to like your righteousness because they're going to be holding you in the old you that wasn't righteous. They're going to continue to see you in that light. But you got to move past that, move past them, and keep shining, yo, for real. Don't let people hold you down with nothing. I don't care what the fuck it was. Don't let motherfuckers hold you down. They carry something with them and they choose to carry it for a lifetime, then that's on them, you know? Back to our choices. We all got our choices, you know what I'm saying? So make the best one for you. For you. For your kids. You know what I'm saying? For the whole community as a whole, you know? We all got to play a part in that, so... If we out here holding on to bitterness and being bitter towards one another, how we ever going to make any progress, man? You know? You know, so many, so many of y'all caught up in that bullshit, man. You know? And I was caught up in it. Shit. Sometimes I get caught up in it. You know? But I got to choose to walk away from that. Get it out of my life if it appears. Because it, it appears. You just got to get it out of there once it appears. You got to see it coming. You know what I'm saying? You got to see it coming. See it coming, man. You can navigate a lot better. A lot better. When you stop. Look around. See what's going on. You know? How we living. What's the conditions? right in your face so don't pretend like you don't see it don't pretend like you don't see it in our homes don't pretend like you don't see it you know just in the community in general you know we gotta do what's best for us to move forward leave something to our kids man get them a better world to deal with we was handed shit. So, what are we gonna do about it? That's the question. Oh, uh, you can only do what you can do. Stick to that. 
Don't let nobody take you off the path, man. With nothing they want to do or got to say, you know. Keep talking. Keep believing in it. Keep believing in what you got going on. Put that shield up. Repel all these suckers out here, man. For real. There's a bunch of suckers out here. They don't want to see you shine. Make them see it anyway. Cause you just gonna you just gonna shine just being you. And if that's what it is, that's what it is, you know. But uh, make sure your light provides intelligence, wisdom, you know. Prosperity, an abundant mind, you know what I'm saying? An abundant spirit, an abundant everything. And I ain't talking about cash, you feel me? <sighs> but, uh, yeah, it was good talking to y'all. Another episode. I got a goal. I, I done set a personal goal for myself, so I'm living in it. I'm living in it. So that's where we at. So y'all gonna get a lot more of these videos. <laughs> but yeah, much love to y'all, man. Like I said before, make sure you leave behind the spirit of bitterness. It's just gonna drag you down, man. It's gonna drag you down into the abyss. So it's gonna feel like a tar pit, man. You're just stuck in that tar pit and it's just holding on to you and it's latching on to you and pulling you down. And you're gonna be wondering why. It's because you're bitter. Let go of your bitterness. And I'm speaking to everybody. Everybody. Every single one of us. But it's with love, though. I know I can be direct sometimes, but it's all love, man. I see the, I see the state of things out here, man. Somebody need to speak loud, you know? Reboot some of you motherfucking system. <laughs> but yeah, love y'all, man. King Shinobi signing out, man. This has been another episode, man. This is, this is wonderful, you know? I appreciate y'all. I appreciate those who appreciate me. And if you don't, you can get the fuck on somewhere. But um, much love to y'all, for real, for real. Peace and love. King Shinobi signing out. We're going to suit up. We're going to suit up. We're going to mask up. We're going to come at them if they want to play around. But yeah, much love to y'all. Peace out.